We're at the Manitoba Liquor Barts Education Center. I am Ace Burpee. This is Great Taste of Manitoba. Joined by from the Manitoba Mushroom Growers Association, Heather Dybert. And I love that like these dishes have been delicious, mm -hmm. but mushrooms are also good for you, and I like that. Yes, and they're very healthy for you. Yes, and uh, there's been a lot of research lately, and they're so healthy for you that they can, um, they may help with the re reducing the risk of cancer. And so what mushroom growers across Canada have done is they've gone together and they will put together uh, mushroom packs for the month of October and look for the ribbon that will say um, Breast Cancer Society and a portion of proceeds from the 200 gram uh, grower wrap packages will go towards research. Okay, for and breast you'll cancer. also notice that yes. uh, those packages, the bottom part, will be pink, so you'll be able to find them. Yes. Cool. Yes. What are we doing now? All right, uh, this recipe is called a mushroom and pork wrap. In. And as you can see in the fry pan, we have some ground pork that we've uh, ground up, we've drained it, drained any fat off, yep. added onions, garlic, and ginger. Now what? Now, the best part of yes, the recipe is the sliced mushrooms. So these, again, are just sliced about a quarter of an inch thick, yep. is all we've done. And this is, again, a mixture of the white and the cremini. Okay. Yes. Throw those so in. So those will go right into the fry pan. So. I'll get you to just stir those, and they will reduce in size. Um, so don't worry if you find that it looks overwhelming when you first put them in. Uh, the mushrooms will lose a lot of moisture uh, that will go into the filling, and uh, you'll have lots of room. As well, I've got one green pepper, so we've got some nice color For sure. going into this as well. And that, you cook that up. Again, we've talked about not wanting to overcook it. You want it to stay nice and um, sort of crisp not to, you don't want them to turn too mushy. Right. So we're going to get that going. Um, then as well into this for some sauce, we have a bit of lemon juice. Okay. Okay. And that just adds a nice flavor and just uh, a bit of brown sugar. So just a tablespoon of brown sugar goes in. Right. And lots of uh, sort of Asian flavors. So we have some hoisin sauce. The hoisin is good. That'll so make a big difference. It's about two tablespoons okay. of hoisin sauce. Love that stuff. So that goes in. Two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Really? So we're going to put some of that in. And I again, like this is going to give us a nice sauce that's going to marinate around the... Uh, mushrooms Great. and the vegetables and just a small teaspoon this is sesame oil and sesame oil is very flavorful okay. so you do not need to use a lot of sesame oil and it's really nice in this recipe because it brings out sort of the nutty flavors um, in the mushrooms and then later on we're going to add a bit of uh, maybe some peanuts into it to to bring that flavor together so this is the filling nice. to the mushroom and pork wrap. Is there something like, can we thicken with chicken or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, we have some chicken stock uh, that I've put a bit of, uh, whisked a bit of cornstarch into it. Nice. And that again, we're gonna just pour that in. And that again, you just wanna cook for 30 seconds. Um, just make sure your heat's high enough and it will uh, thicken up the sauces and it will you know, go around the mushrooms and the pork and everything. It adds a really nice flavor. Um, for this particular recipe, we are going to use the tortillas, uh, which we have over here. You can again use either the white or the whole wheat. It's up to you, whatever, uh, whatever you choose. You know what I was just thinking? Mm. There's this uh, lady that told me this, that when you buy mushrooms in Manitoba, yes. that those have never been touched by human hands. The ones that are in the grower rack. Yeah, when yes. I buy them in the thing, like in yes. that thing. Yes, if you buy a package of mushrooms uh, like this, they have never been touched because the, uh, the pickers all wear gloves and they, they have never touched these mushrooms. So you are the first person to touch them. When you open up that plastic wrap or the grower That's wrap, awesome. you're the first one. So you really don't need to wash them. If you choose to wash them, that's fine to get the, the growing medium off them. You can brush them with a, a mushroom brush or a damp cloth. Uh, don't soak them because they are like sponges and they will absorb the, the water okay. that you soak them in. All right, that looks decent to me. Yes, so now we're going to put together the wrap. So I'm going to give you some of the filling. So I'm going to move this okay. over here. And uh, you may want to lay it down okay. just in case it's sure. too hot. Okay, so you want to put a nice layer of filling right down the center right. of the tortilla. And then you just can sort of go to town with on. your toppings. What so do we have? Some lettuce. We have lettuce. Green onions. Green onion. 
fresh this cilantro. Looks like cilantro. Yeah, and chopped peanuts. Come on. Yes. So a Great few chopped peanuts just down the middle. You roll that up. Yep. You can roll the bottom up first, okay. and then it won't fall out. And then the sides. And uh, yeah, try it. Heather, you're so good. Yep. Can See, I go for it? Yes. yes. Okay, so I'm going to eat this because Heather is very good to me. Al has been shopping for the entire show, mm -hmm. so we're going to bring Al back and see what he's going to pair with all these delicious mushroom dishes. Excellent. All right, come yes. right back. 